Hello everyone, welcome to Lara Tips. In this video, we'll be looking at two new things that are added to Laravel version 9.27.0. There are other things that were also changed and you can see all the changes over here. I'll be leaving the link of this page just below that like button. Now, let's get started. The first thing that has been added is this fix for registering event listeners with array callback. And this is contributed by Digity101. Let me show you what the error was. If you see here, I am here in the Lara tips old and this is the Lara tips. Currently, this has the latest version of Laravel and it has the earlier version of Laravel. And if I just show you over here in the event service provider, then they are both. I have created this test event and these two test listeners. Inside this one, I am just logging one and inside the two, I am just logging two. Now, if I come here in the tinker well, and if I come here in the Lara tips old, then I have this one. Okay, we don't need this. I'll just remove this. And here is this event test event. Whenever I call this event, then it will actually pass the event to these two listeners. And in turn, these two will be executed. The handle method on both of them will be called. Now, if I try to run this in the older version of Laravel, then it will give me this error array to string conversion this has been now fixed and if i come here in this latest version of laravel and try to run it then you can see here it has been executed and let me just go over here in the laratips.old if you just see here in the laravel.log file let me show you that over here in the older version in the stories logs and laravel.log we'll just see the error that previous error and in the new laravel version let's say laravel.log then we can see here one and two both of them are now logged so after you upgrade this error that is appearing in this old laravel version will go away and speaking of errors i would like you to introduce to this video sponsor which is honey Vazer. it is obvious that we run into some errors everyone's code will have some errors even if the code is written by amazing developers like my viewers in such case honey Vazer can be your best friend honey Vazer allows you to monitor those errors uptime check-ins and deployments in real time with easy to use interface with that you'll be able to know what happened immediately when your customers encounter those errors whenever they are using your application or website then you'll be notified via email sms slack and many more immediately. You can easily install Honeyvazor in minutes and when something goes wrong in your application, you can go to your dashboard and see full detail of the errors, which will help you to solve the issue much more faster. And thanks to Honeyvazor for sponsoring this video. Honeyvazor has both free and paid version and you can check the link in the description and be a DevOps hero in minutes by using Honeyvazor. Now, let's see the second thing that has been added, which is this prompt to create the SQLite DB whenever we are migrating and this is contributed by Tim McDonald. Let me show you what was the issue before and now how it is solved. This is the Laravel old and now let me go to .env file. Let me just comment this MySQL and over here let me this comment this out. Let me make this SQLite connection. Now if I try to run PHP artisan migrate whenever there is this SQLite connection and if I hit enter then it will actually show me this error that this database.sqlite file is actually not present now you have to manually go ahead and create this file and again run the migration but now in the latest version of Laravel if you try to run it then it will actually ask you would you like to attempt to create the database and if you just type yes then it will actually create the database and migrate it 